people who have been a nude model for art classes. What is the most awkward or interesting moment that has happened during a class? This is a little thing, but I still remember it 20 plus years later. I volunteered to be a figure model my freshman year of college for the art majors. I was super self-conscious about my body and thought it would be a good way to push myself. I was sitting in a pose while they sketched and I heard one student whisper to another, look at the light falling on her ankle, isn't it beautiful? I am older and more self-confident these days, but that still ranks as one of the best compliments I've ever received. Story 2. So yeah, here we go. I saw an ad posted needing models at school years ago. I figured I was in good enough shape and wasn't shy about my manness, so I thought, why the hell not? I did it three times. Times one and two went okay. Number three, however, class started. I was getting ready to come out and get into position. That's when I saw my cousin sitting there, ready to draw a random dude in all his glory. I came out, gave her a little wave and a shrug, and proceeded to let it all hang out. Let's just say family gatherings have been a little awkward since then, but art is art, right? Story 3. This kinda counts. I was hired to play classical guitar as a figure model for an art class. I was paid I think $35 and I got to keep all the drawings. One girl handed me hers and it was me playing guitar without pants and she gave me a huge dong that curled around my feet. I kept it for years, then it was ruined in a move. Story 4. My husband was not the model, but saw something happen while in an art class in college. The female model slash student was sitting in the sun and had apparently not eaten. She got dizzy and fell on the floor in a dead faint. The first instinct of the other students was to rush forward to help her, but then they froze. Uh, what can we do? We can't touch her, she's naked! Just then, the professor ran back in with a blanket he had gotten from the other room and covered her up. She recovered pretty quickly from the fainting, but was really embarrassed. Edit. I talked to my husband to clarify the details of the story. She was sitting on a window ledge trying to hold a pose with the sun beating down on her. She also hadn't eaten much that day. Eventually, she slumped over, slid down the wall, and hit the floor. There were men and women in the room, and no one knew what to do, but it was literally only a matter of seconds before the professor covered her with a blanket. It wasn't like they all stood there for five minutes, staring at her naked body trying to decide what to do. People can tend to momentarily freeze in unexpected situations. A reason they didn't touch her is because they weren't sure where to safely place their hands. They didn't want to touch her in a way that would make her feel uncomfortable or violate her body autonomy. It wasn't about worrying about being sued, it was a genuine concern for her comfort and safety and taking a second to try and figure out the best way to handle that. Story 5. Walked out of the closet in my birthday suit and immediately recognized three people in the class. Wasn't expecting that, but after the first 10 seconds or so, they saw all there was to see and I got over any awkwardness. Super hard to pose for long periods though, and I have a ton of respect for those who do it regularly. Story 6. Not a nude model, but I had to attend an art class that used them a lot. A friend of mine ended up having to sit in the front, and at one point, the model was at just the right angle that all she could see was her legs and crotch. She was lying down on a bench. When it came time to share her work, my friend was incredibly embarrassed because several of her pieces were just of the model's private parts. Story 7. I went to art school and dated one of the girls that came in to model a lot, but she was just one of maybe a dozen regular models we had. I only ended up sketching her in a class once. Nobody in the class knew we were seeing each other, so it never really got weird. It was actually kind of hot. That was a fun night. But the most awkward experience was when this one regular dude we had unfroze his pose, walked over to his bag, and pulled out a Tupperware container of pasta salad and started eating it. It was supposed to be a 20 minute pose and this was like minute 3. The teacher asked him to get back in position but he kept going back to the pasta salad every couple minutes. Just standing there, eating, with his dong and balls just hanging there. It was so weird. Pretty tame, I guess, but it's always stuck with me. Story 8. The biggest beating my ego ever got was nude modeling. I had a very good physique, surf club, firefighter, and I was confident of my manhood, so I gave it a shot. The class had been told to focus and exaggerate features. I got 14 drawings of me ranging from caveman to sexless to one that was just all muscles and no face or limbs like a Lovecraftian horror. I was super embarrassed and apologized to the teacher for being a poor study and she said that this was the most creative she had seen some people. Story 9. Not me, by god you don't want that. I know a woman that didn't modeling in her college years. Fast forward 10 or so years, now she sells houses. She was doing a walkthrough for some clients to sell a house. Here's the whatever room, here's the other whatever room. Walks into one room and sees the 
paintings the owner had done through the years, sees the one of her. Slight panic takes over, but trudges through without incident. Don't know if she sold the house to that particular client, but hell, that was definitely awkward for her. Story 10. I was a student in a figure drawing class where our nude male model got an erection that rose so slowly that it was nearly halfway erect before I noticed it happening. It eventually very slowly got fully erect, and then just as slowly flaccid. This was, of course, during our long pose, so he didn't even get a chance to reposition himself. I imagine others noticed, but I can't say for sure, and I personally felt some secondhand awkwardness. I'm going to add this potentially unnecessary detail, but during the moments it was fully erect, I did notice one drop of, you know. At that point, I felt bad for the guy, who was apparently fighting something within himself to try and turn his brain off or something to bring it back down. Story 11. Let me just say, if you ever get the opportunity for this job, take it. It pays real well and all you gotta do is hang out naked. I loved it. But it was so awkward that the art studio I modeled in was always so cold. Looking at the students around me wearing winter jackets while I'm naked just seemed unfair. I had a space heater, but it wasn't ideal. Story 12. I have a story from a student perspective. So we were all around 16 to 17 in UK college, attending what was probably the first life drawing class for all of us. The man modeling was in his 40s, obviously did this often and not shy in the slightest. He was chill. The teacher was weird and kept yelling at anyone who spoke, which was strange as it made everything feel a lot more tense and awkward. The lad next to me was one of the few males in our class, and one of two that were also straight. He had never seen another male's naked penis before and was clearly struggling with the concept. I had a feeling it was something to do with the fact this guy was pretty devoutly Christian. The whole time, he was bright red in the face and his whole body was shaking like a leaf. Being a bit of a mother hen, I asked him if he was alright, and he said that he didn't feel well and that he couldn't believe this was happening. Through the first two poses, he did okay, although his line control was more off than normal and there was just a big blurry mark around the genital area. I gave him a bottle of cola for my bag and asked if he wanted to sit down. The teacher freaked out about us talking, but he just nodded and went to sit behind me. He then freaked out upon realizing that everyone else was drawing the penis. He didn't realize we were supposed to, and for whatever reason became terrified. The teacher had marched over by now to see why the frick he was sitting out. He saw his drawing, then went on an angry rant about artistic integrity, how childish he was, and about how the model was a precious resource we had limited time with. She forced this poor lad up and back to his easel and held his arm to direct him in drawing the dong, while the poor boy stood looking like he was vibrating in fear. Then he just dropped like a sack of potatoes. The teacher managed to keep him from hitting the floor too hard since she was holding his arm, and me and another girl rushed over to help to get him back into the chair. He came to very quickly after a few seconds, overwhelmingly embarrassed and started making excuses. The teacher let him sit out after that, where the poor guy just sat with his face in his hands, miserable for the next 20 minutes while we finished up and completely unfazed model left. That poor 16-year-old guy didn't turn up to life drawing classes after that. Story 13. I was one of the artists, not the model, but I've witnessed two pretty awkward events during life drawing classes. Once, I was drawing a female model who was facing me in a standing pose on a small platform maybe a foot off the ground. I was working on the face, and at the same moment I am studying her face, I just see this blank expression of lights out, nobody's home upstairs, fall over her face, and a second later she just went smack, face first into the floor. She had fainted, and it was pretty surreal seeing someone faint in real time, who also happened to be nude. It was one of those things that happened really fast, but in the moment it felt like slow motion. She came to right away, and we all took a break while she had some water and an ice pack, and I think she was a little embarrassed. The other time was more awkward, because it was just me and one other student, and the teacher in class that day with the model, because it was around finals for other classes, and everyone else just decided not to show up to life drawing. So the model, male, decided to be creative and took a drawing horse, which is a little bench that you sit and draw at, Google drawing horse furniture if you want to see what it looks like, and he smacked it on top of two other drawing horses and then climbed on top of it. For a second, he attempted this heroic pose, but then he unfortunately and somewhat comically lost his balance and came crashing down on the hard linoleum floor. He was okay, except for his dignity. I think everyone in the room felt embarrassed slash awkward after that one, and because there were so few of us in the room, it really felt like there was nowhere to hide from the awkwardness. 
Story 14. Most awkward experience came after the modeling. While modeling, I, 20-something male, also worked at a dining hall on campus. Unbeknownst to me, one of the recent hires, 20-something female, was also an art major. Now, anyone that's willing to splay it out loud and proud is not very prude, so I didn't really care that she had doodled my doodle. What was awkward was that this girl had a massive crush on me, even though she knew I was in a committed relationship, as my GF, who I am still with, also worked at the dining hall. The absolute worst part was that my coworker would very regularly strike up convos, not with me, but with my GF about how big a crush she has on me. All in all though, modeling for art classes is a pretty cush job. I got paid $12.50 back when minimum wage was $9.30 in my state to take two hour naps talk to chill art students, and get drawn like a French girl. Story 15. While living overseas, my teacher colleague convinced me to be a model in one of her art classes at the local bar near our school. It took a while for me to work up the courage. In the end, I said, heck it, why not? One of my fellow male teachers and her boyfriend from another school decided it was now too awkward to come to the class and see me naked and still be able to look me in the eye in future conversations slash continue to work with me in the same department, so they decided not to go. Then, at the actual class, it was an open an air bar. The only thing separating me from the entrance slash road nearby was a white screen that certainly did not shield me from passers-by, although it wasn't a particularly busy street. It also did not shield me from the regular bar patrons who were not part of the art class, so three random dudes who just showed up for drinks that night decided to casually watch me from the bar while enjoying their beers. Then, because I have low blood pressure, I didn't realize that locking my knees in a position for 10 minutes was a bad idea, and I nearly passed out from the second pose and was caught by the art teacher who noticed me swaying. They took a quick break, fed me some sugary pop, and then I decided to continue. All in all, it was actually really fun, and I did it several more times back home. Also, there was no lingering awkwardness between my colleague and I back at school after she saw me naked. Bonus! Story 16. I remember there was one class where I was modeling, and one student was asking the teacher for help drawing the cellulite. He then did a little demonstration on the board to show the other students. I wasn't that overweight at the time, maybe 140 pounds, but that was slightly humiliating. Also, there is awkwardness with menstruation. My first time modeling, I happened to be on my period. I was very self-conscious about my tampon string showing. I tried to tuck it in, but it came back out. After a while, I stopped caring and just accepted that having a period is natural and better than the alternative of canceling on the class. Story 17. Not a model, but the most awkward experience I saw a model have was during a class when the professor would put music on to play in the background. He didn't really pay attention to what was on his playlist, so about 20 minutes into the class, the lyrics of, If you like my body and you think I'm sexy, come on baby, tell me so, from Rod Stewart's, Do you think I'm sexy, was playing over the speakers. The lady model noped out of the class in the middle of a pose, grabbing her robe and things, and just left before the professor had any chance to figure out what was happening. We all quite sketched in our sketchbooks for the remainder of the class after that. Story 18. 100% nothing awkward ever happened in my class. I was very close with the professor and he was very strict with rules when having nude life models. I was super anxious when I started but he made me feel very comfortable and the class was honestly a lot of fun. I think the most awkward thing that came from modeling for classes was when I would see people out in public and we would stare at each other for a second and be like, I know you from somewhere. Until we both would put two and two together that I modeled for one of their classes. <laughs> Half the time, they don't even recognize you clothed if the class is primarily focused on drawings of the body. Story 19. I've been a professional nude artist's model for many years. At last, it's my time to shine. I did faint off the stand once. I had a very emotional argument the night before, had barely slept because I was upset, and also had no appetite and hadn't eaten. So of course, attempting to stand for an extended time equals boom, down I went. The class was really kind and sympathetic. They helped me out by getting me a glass of water and all that, and switched to working on a still life of some objects in the classroom while I rested. I was so embarrassed, but people were understanding. I once came ridiculously close to crapping myself while posing. I'd slugged a lot of coffee right before showing up, much more than I'm accustomed to, and it was a couple minutes into posing, seated on a stool with a white cloth draped over it, that my gut suddenly signaled that I was going to crap, whether I wanted to or not. I tried to fight it, and then pretty soon just broke the pose and excused myself. Close call. Again, the group was understanding when I said the coffee was hitting me. I was doing a group pose, and I was seated on the edge of the platform at the feet of a standing male model. When time came to end the pose, I went to stand up too close to him and felt the tip of his dong brush all the way across my upper back down to my lower back. 
awkward as hell. Just mumbled a, uh, excuse me, and wandered off. I've been sculpted by a guy who did some model making for Star Wars movies, and Joan Baez has seen me naked. I've been on the LucasArts mocap stage and had to sign an NDA about what I saw there. I wasn't doing mocap stuff, they just host regular figure drawing sessions for their employees and use that space for it. I'm sure a bunch of other weird stuff has happened, but I've been doing this for a long time. I love it. Story 20. I, by male, was modeling when another model, female, showed up. Guess she thought it was her week. The art teacher said, hey, if you want to get naked too, I'll pay the both of you. Would make for interesting composition. I was worried I was gonna bone up, but they seated her behind me, so I didn't really see anything until the end of the night when we were all done, and could put a robe on and wander around and look at the sketches. Story 21. Former art model here, uh, let's see, took my robe off and a guy sighed loudly and said, great, in a super huffy, petulant tone. Absolutely fainted once. Low blood pressure, stiff limbs, hot lights. It took a moment to realize what had happened for everyone because I slowly folded forward and they thought I was just moving into a new pose. Most were still shuffling their pads around, getting a new sheet of paper set up, and only after the group settled back and absorbed how uncomfortable the pose looked did they realize I was not conscious. Later, worked in a white-collar tech job and ended up working with someone who'd drawn me every Saturday for two years. It took us a full year to realize why we had this feeling we recognized each other from somewhere, but those were more annoying slash funny, not really awkward. On that count, one stands out. A college tour group walked in, just a big ol' herd of 17 to 18 year old high school students and their parents. The college has alternating routes to avoid classrooms in use. The guide just spaced on what day of the week it was. The awkward part was that as everyone was filing in, all the students and parents just rolled with it. I think nobody wanted to seem uncultured. A few quickly hidden grins of surprise, otherwise totally calm. But the last person in the door was the guide, because she'd kind of ushered everyone in first. She got two sentences into her, so this is one of our state-of-the-art such-and-such room speech before seeing me sitting in a throne-like chair legs spread, fully on display. Poor thing jumped like a cat that just licked a live wire. Story 22. My story has a few elements that make it odd. I was introduced to nude modeling by an ex of mine, who coincidentally has become quite successful and has a fan-created subreddit now, shortly after she became my ex. So that was a weird phone call. Hey, I've been doing artistic modeling for a school downtown. I think you'd really be into it. I already gave them your contact info. Definitely not the conversation I expected. I, obviously, since I'm now telling the story, took the job. I showed up to the studio, and after they showed me my changing area, I changed into a comfy bathrobe. I had a few minutes to kill while they waited to start the class, and I was invited to take a self-guided tour of the studio. My ex was apparently their favorite model, and about a third of the art in the building featured her body, which I admittedly missed, so I started out disadvantaged on the don't-get-a-boner front. This problem stayed a problem for the entirety of the course. Once they were ready, the assistant instructor came to get me. They take me to the stage I will live on while at my new job. I get to introduce myself to the students who will study my body for the next two weeks. It had been seven years since I did any consistent exercise. I did not have a great body. One of the students, it turns out, is the sister and roommate of a good female friend of mine, in whom I had some interest. So I get a phone call from this girl asking if the new drawing her sister did was of me. I did get a couple of boners, but they weren't a big deal, and thankfully didn't feature in any of the student's studies. I did get several complaints that I just didn't have enough shadows, that my body was just one flat mass with no shapes to start with. This was not intended to be a criticism of me, rather a complaint of the drawing process, but I felt it. The assistant instructor did a wonderful drawing of me in which my torso looks like a sad pit bull puppy dog face. The oddest moment with all this happened two years after the class. In that time, I'd enlisted, cut my hair, lost 25 pounds, and got fit. I don't think I looked much the same. I was visiting my cousin, who owned a house which became an anarchist commune of sorts. I was catching up with him when a couple walked in. The girl looked familiar, but I had never met the boyfriend in my life. They stopped and stared at me, then asked if they knew me from somewhere. Then the man said, It's him! He recognized me from the drawing she made of me two years earlier and had hung above their fireplace. I was her best work, apparently. Story 23. Let's see. Buddy from high school, we're both dudes, was in one of the classes I modeled for. So was his ex-GF who I lived with from when they were together and mutual friends who we both met at college. 
I picked one of those friends to be magnetic north for my dong for some reason. Buddy from high school told me to shave my junk before the first class, so I did. My body is very hairy. I would walk around the class between drawings to shoot the shit and take a look at the drawings. Wasn't awkward for me, but I'm told this is not normal. Someone will probably find this, so all well. A bonus, since college I did work at a bachelorette party as a male stripper. Story 24. Have a studio art degree, and have taken many, many life drawing classes. Several models with interesting stories. There was the dude who had a giant mole on his testicle and then wasn't our model for a month, then came back with no mole. Also, no scars? So we never asked. Two of the female models for one class would both wear underwear when on their period. One always chose a bikini style and a color close to her skin tone to help avoid breaking the lines. The other always wore bright red in various styles. I appreciated the humor. One semester, our model was a fellow art student, and while a few of our classmates had a little awkwardness, for the most part we appreciated that she knew what she, we were doing and tried to give us good poses. By and large, there is nothing sexual at all about it, even when the end result is a 20-minute study of genitals. After the first few minutes, you stop being a person to the artist and are just a frustrating at times collection of shapes, shadows, and lines. I remember my mom being scandalized the first she heard I drew nude models, but then she saw some of my work and she realized how necessary the nudity was for what we were doing, and she switched to thinking that I was some kind of da Vinci, <laughs> misplaced mom pride. I've thought about doing the modeling myself, now that I'm more rotund I would be the frustrating set of shapes. <laughs> Story 25. I was naked in front of the art class and a very attractive female student right in my vision during a certain pose started to flirt with me and uncross her legs. She got a bit of a spread going visible only to me. Okay, so I hardened up looking down at this girl. She smiled at me and the art teacher commented to the class this was a very powerful pose. The girl drew me and gave me a charcoal drawing of me with a erect dong. It is quite a good drawing and I still have it. That was when I still played rugby and had abs. Story 26. I'm a student and, in this case, the TA, not the model. We had a model once who was just friggin' weird. We have a little closet where models can change from their clothes to the silk row, but this guy stripped on the pedestal in front of everyone and said, Ta-da! He left his socks on, though, and yes, I included them in my drawings. He kept asking if we could get him an apple to hold in his mouth for poses, and he kept maintaining eye contact with three of the girls. He also got way, way too close to people when looking at their drawings. Pretty tame compared to some of the stories here, but it made the students very uncomfortable. He never came back. 